morning, everyone. Jeanette Biro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from spirit. And again, always, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out my channel, your beautiful comments and support. It's just uh, lovely. Fills my heart truly. And so I really appreciate you guys. Uh, now, I do want to say for those of you that are new to my channel, when I do mediumship work, channeling, that kind of stuff. I just go straight to spirit, but that doesn't discount the fun and the value I see in tarot cards, oracle cards, even runes for that matter, as a method to build a bridge to connect with spirit. And I enjoy pulling cards um, anyways as well. And so that's kind of where these readings started. The spirit was like, hey, why don't you share those with everybody and do like a daily one? And I said, hey, what a great idea. So here we are, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying these. So let's dive in and see where we're at for today. Again, I'm using the Light Seers Tarot deck, and let's see what Spirit has to say. Lots of really cool energies this week, movement, um, agreements, forward momentum. So what do they want to share for today, Spirit? Let's see. They're saying momentum is a great word. See how things are rolling and moving forward for you. And by the way, um, today, a lot of the energy is coming from the three guides of the light. And if you guys are curious about who they are, who these guides of mine are, they're uh, a group of many. I have different, many different guides that work with me. Three guides of light, though, they are high consciousness frequency. They are light beings, beings of light energy. And um, they came to me in the beginning of the pandemic, actually. And so there's a lot of podcasts. If you go back to kind of like uh, 2020, there was a lot that came through from the 3GL, I call them, Three Guides of the Light. So if you want to know more about them, feel free to check that out. Uh, again, you'll find those in the podcast. But for now, let's see what they wish to share through the cards. They're saying we wish to share joy. That's lovely. Joy. Okay, what kind of joy and momentum are you bringing through today? You're talking about harvest energy. Oh, you guys are funny. Okay, they're funny because joy energy. And so when I had my eyes closed, I'm like, isn't it funny that I'm wearing yellow today and you guys are talking about joy? And they said, yeah, absolutely. And so look at the cards that we have. Queen of Wands, so joyful with that spark of fiery yellow energy, followed by the Sun card, the most joyful card in the tarot deck. Look at all that yellow. Um, this is beautiful. So let's talk about these two first, and then I'll get to the next one. So the Sun card really is joy in, in motion. In, it is embodying the joy. If you look here, she's just like connecting so deeply to that sun frequency, the higher light energy, the sun card also speaks of the three guides of the light. Remember, they are light consciousness. So here she is connecting straight with them. And essentially, this is a beautiful way to draw kind of what they are because they are light. They showed themselves to me at first embodied as three figures, but they said, this is not what we look like, but we're coming embodied uh, in the astrals, in the higher realms, so your brain can understand we are a collective, a group of light beings, but we don't need to be embodied. And so this is a beautiful image of that light and how it radiates out. So I think this is representing the three guides uh, of the light in one way, but also really representing that joy factor, because this, again, is the most joyful card in tarot. And then this queen of wands, like she essentially is holding the light in her palm with that other wand straight up in the air, like triumph. And that's her being, and again, this is, this is a queen, but it's really the feminine energy that is not limited to gender, okay? But she is holding it in the palm of her hand, knowing that when she connects in with this frequency, she carries all of creation in her palm. She carries the perspective she wants in the world, the creative nature of what she would like to bring into the world, the joy she wants to have. Look how happy she is. Like, that is an expression of joy right there. And she's sitting with her black cat, in front of her now black cats and tarot cats were kind of representative black ones a uh, long time ago when tarot was created as like the occult as the negative of witchcraft of 
darkness, of shameful behavior, all of that kind of stuff, right? You come across a black cat, you're going to have bad luck. Totally not true. Um, but she stands while well, sits there proudly with her cat in front of her saying she embraces all of who she is. She is not looking negatively on anything. In fact, she's embracing the power that runs within her and bringing it through in the highest frequency, which is joy and love, of course. But look at that. So huge emphasis on light, three guides of the light, joy frequencies, exactly what they were talking about before I pulled. I love that. So these two cards are emphasizing these two cards. So over here, we have the Page of Cups followed by the Three of Wands. So again, another wand energy, fire energy, light energy. Now, I'm going to read Three of Wands first. Three of Wands, you can see this girl standing on the edge, um, kind of at the beach, looking at the ocean. She's got her surfboard in hand. And this is saying, it's time to get in the water. Make those moves. Use the momentum, like Spirit was talking about, of the waves and move forward, get in the water and let the waves help carry you. You have to do the work of getting in the water. Once you're in the water, catch the wave and the momentum will bring you to where you want to go. You have what you need, which is represented by the surfboard here. So this is saying time to get in the water. Keep your joy energy high. Keep that happiness within you. Know you're supported and it's time to get in the water because when you get in the water, this page of cups is really um, energies of new opportunities. If you look up in the top corner, there's a little pig flying on top of the cup there. And it represents these like unique um, opportunities that you couldn't have even imagined. So jokes kind of on when, yeah, when pigs fly, you know, that statement, like, yeah, that'll happen when pigs fly. And literally this card is saying, watch the pigs fly because really cool, neat things are coming for you with this momentum of what you're willing to put into it especially when you hold your frequency in joy, in light, in creative power, honoring your truth, knowing who you are, standing in your sovereignty, and then stepping in the water, you make space for these beautiful things to come forward. This is fabulous, you guys. I love this. This warms my heart so much to see this kind of energy coming through and the three guides of light coming through um, so clearly to share in these messages here. Normally, three guides of the light, I channel them. Um, but this is beautiful. So I totally appreciate them coming through and sharing with you guys. And um, in fact, this is leading me to, I was considering doing a few videos on uh, channeled messages from them too. So if that's something you guys think you would like to hear, please leave a comment in the messages below and, and I can get going on some of that too. So yeah, oh, lovely. All right. I hope this inspires, inspires you guys today. Live in joy, find that happiness, get in the water, allow those synchronicities to come forward and stand in your truth or sit in your truth of who you are. Fabulous. Love it. Okay, everyone, have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow.